Hi guys, this is No Folk Southern Rail Fan here, and uh, today um, is a very special day for me. Um, yesterday was Christmas, so today is the 26th, and uh, I just recently hit 30 subscribers, so you know what, we're going to do a 30 subscriber special. And well, as you guys can see here, I just got my Bachman K4, which right now is down. That black wire right there came undone. I need to resolder that in. And once that's done, this thing is going to be up and running again. There's my soldering iron, but not on. Thank God. See you later. Hold on. Okay. So, yesterday was Christmas, as I just said. And I've always wanted an ES44 AC with DCC and sound. And today, we'll be doing a review. On the Bachman DCC and Sound Lehigh Valley ES44 AC. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is my first DCC and Sound locomotive. And today, I will be ordering another one, which we should be doing another review on. I've already taken this out of the package, by the way. It's just... When I went to bed last night, I put it back in the bag. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I just woke up. Like, not even five minutes ago. Oh, yeah, she is a beauty. As I said, this is a DCC and Sound ES44. If you don't believe me? So right there. And that's my camera with focus. I mean, why? Um, these ES44s come with the. Uh, Dang it! Well, Bachman's newest run of VS 44s, which is what this is, comes with Tsunami Sound installed. One day, I would hopefully want to put a lock sound decoder in this. Well, not a lock sound, sorry. Uh, Econami decoder. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on putting an Econami in this thing. So, very, very beautiful engine. Okay, let's get started with details. God, I need to wake up. Sorry, that. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just really tired. I just woke up. <laughs> okay, let's start off. First of all, we have separately applied handrails, ditch lights, which are not operable. I went for the cheaper version, and then one day I will be getting the ones with ditch lights. Uh, separately applied MU hoses, snow plow. Well, air hoses, and there's the MU hose. Very separately applied metal handrails on the nose. And sand, sand caps. You got your PTC array. Molded in windshield. Separately applied window mirrors on the windows. You got your handrails, which are very, they're plastic, but they're very sturdy. You got a separately applied horn smokestack. Separately applied vent, uh, uh, vent section, because this can't come off, so it's, I think it's for, like, maintenance was. So this is the engineer side of the locomotive. You get that. The detail on this thing is surprisingly well for a Bachman. You know, you got your separately painted little details there, there. And you got all these little molded in details which look nice on the other frame. Same thing with the trucks. You know, you got a separately applied metal wire going over and this simulate the air hose. Very nice. Let's go to the rear again. You get your separately applied handrails, hoses, and ditch lights, which look very nice, by the way. Even though they don't work, they still look very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. It's 
So that's what I got for Christmas. It's less a rare painting, actually. Here, let me grab it. As you can tell, this is a painting of a no folk. No fucking Western uh, J class, like this one right here. That's just, that's the six eleven. That's the only, that's just a survivor. And if we turn this over, we get this limited edition certification. Printed in nineteen ninety four. This is number ten out of six hundred and twenty five. The books. For this print have been destroyed, so no more can be made, and no future editions will be uh, forthcoming. Here's your artist. There's our artist. Here's a little description from the author. Well, artist, I should say. So this is a painting of the 611. Uh, here's the dude who framed it. If you want more of his stuff, contact this guy's number. His he has some very cool things. That's the same dude did this too. Um, one handed. Uh, I also got that for Christmas. It's freaking huge. Awesome. Oh yeah, I also got that sign. <laughs> Yeah, my room right now is just covered from top to bottom. Ah, uh, dang it. Looks like my air horn broke off. I'm going to glue that back on because I'm not losing that air horn. A little bit of damage. But, you know, it's a plastic air horn. You know what? I'll probably replace it with an Atherin one day. A nice Atherin diecast metal air horn. Speaking of which, uh, diecast metals. Um, very soon on this channel, within a month, We'll be having our first stop motion video um, be uploaded. I've been working on it for my class in school, so it's going to be coming very, very soon. Well, that's talking. Let's hear this thing. <gasps> Dang it! I wish I could stop yawning, but like I said, I just woke up. Let's go down. Oh yeah. You're wondering like how in the world do you have a, why do you have a DCC engine without a DCC decoder controller? Cause you know, I haven't done a video in about a month. Well, in that month, I did get this. So here we go. I have her set to address number two, the NS8104. One's the bell. Two's the uh, horn. This is how you do it. You press it once to activate it. And yeah, press it again to deactivate. Three is the short horn. Okay, let's turn off the bell. Yeah. To It's simulating a dynamic, the, the dyna dynamic break. I forgot what five does. Well, ten's obviously the light, so maybe five's the dim one. No, five and six are, I think, are unused. Seven is the dimmer. Wait, sorry, I pressed eight. Eight's the mute. Seven's the dimmer. Yep, seven's dimmer. Nine has no function on this thing, and ten's obviously the light, so. How about we'll remove it? As you guys can tell, it's a very smooth line.
And no, it is not stuttering at all. Even though it looks like it in the video, it is not. This thing is a very smooth runner. For it being a nice Bachman. Bachman knew how to make some trains. Let me tell you something. People say Bachman are such crap. I'm being dead honest with you. They're not. Bachman trains do make some nice stuff. Right here. I mean, look at this. This in their uh, AC, ECS 64s are now equipped with uh, soundtracks decoders. As you guys can hear, very nice. Oh, by the way, guys, I uh, will be doing a review, but I did that back there to my layout. I literally took some cardboard and a hot glue gun, and I made myself a railway crossing. And yes, it does work. <laughs> This is perfect, so I have to the uh, first of January. Don't want to buy the uh, first of January is my last day. By then, there will be a review on another local model, and there will be a nice run video too. Um, because okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm getting another Bachman Heritage unit. I'll give you the number, but I won't tell you the rest. Eighty nine nine. You guys, you guys know what that engine is. Tell me in the comments section below. You guys are big uh, no folks selling bluffs like I am. You'll know what the eighty ninety nine is. Another beautiful one. And this thing's got some power. You know, Blackman trains are not really known for their power, but my God, this thing can haul. I mean, as I told you guys many times, this section of track is on a hill. Right. Well, guys. This is gonna be a very, this is gonna be a shorter video than normal, but 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 this is the Norfolk Southern Rail fan. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Signing off.